Good morning everybody and welcome to Morning Prayer for today, Monday the 8th of March. Today we remember Felix, a bishop and the apostle to the East Angles from the 7th century. Felix originated from Burgundy and it was there that he met and converted the exiled East Anglian prince Siegbert. When Siegbert, now a Christian ruler, returned to East Anglia as king in 631, Felix followed. Honorius, Archbishop of Canterbury, consecrated Felix as Bishop of Dunwich and Apostle to the East Anglians. Under the guidance and authority of the Archbishop, Felix spent 17 years preaching the Gospel in Norfolk, Suffolk and Cambridge. He founded a monastery at Soham and cooperated with the Irish monk Fursey, who also founded a monastery in the region. Felix located the headquarters of his diocese in Dunwich on the Suffolk coast and his reign brought peace to the region. Evidence of his influence can still be seen in the name of the town of Felixstowe. Felix is an important witness to the influence of Gaul in the conversion of the Anglo-Saxons to Christianity. His relics are preserved at Ramsey Abbey as Dunwich has since been swallowed up by the sea. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgments, give us life. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and for ever. Amen. Some verses from Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no trust in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy for ever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For your Lord will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Reading from John's Gospel, chapter 7 beginning at the 37th verse. On the last day of the festival, the great day while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, Out of the believer's hearts shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some in the crowd said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is the Messiah. But some asked, Surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. 
Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not arrest him? The police answered, Never has anyone spoken like this. Then the Pharisees replied, Surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any one of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before, and who was one of them, asked, Our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? They replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us pray. And so we pray for today and its tasks, for all we will meet. We pray for the world and its needs, especially during the pandemic. And we pray for the church and her life. During this season of Lent, people are getting ready for Easter. And among those, there are those who are getting ready for baptism and confirmation. We pray for them, Lord, that they may draw near to you, especially at this time. Pray for the leadership of our churches. Pray for the leaders of all faiths. That they may keep their people faithful. And during this penitential season, we pray for all those who are looking for forgiveness in any form. Whether forgiveness from one another or forgiveness from you. Pray for all who suffer from any natural disasters, for all those who are hungry for all those who are sick. We pray for all those known to us who are in any particular kind of need. And we also pray for the faithful departed, whether they've died recently or maybe some time ago, still very much in our hearts and minds. So Father, we offer all our prayers to you. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, 
may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God our Redeemer show us compassion and love. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Stay safe and God bless.